Hello and welcome back to the channel with the Crypto DJ. I'm actually in Huahin on my way back to my base, Tanya, and I decided to make a stop here. I'm coming from Phuket after my short trip in the south of Thailand and I decided to make a quick stop for a few days here. Let's go for a walk around Huahin and discover a little bit what the old center of the city have to offer. Well, it's a little bit windy and as you can see, it's very low tides and in the season, the tides is very intense and the beach becomes much bigger. Normally, in the high season, the beach is smaller. It is the same in Pattaya, basically. I enjoy this low season atmosphere. It's very calm, very relaxing. Uh, maybe it's gonna rain in a while. But it doesn't matter, we're gonna enjoy Wahin in any case, even with the rain. walking in the old part of the town which is basically the old uh, fishing village everything starts from here and you can easily discover the very old buildings and all these structures on the on the beach that are now basically converted in restaurant or in small hotels directly on the beach a tiny fishing village now converted in a very popular holiday destination here in Thailand. And if you arrive by train, as uh, it's happened to me, I was coming by train from uh, Suratani after my break in uh, Phuket. Actually, it was a very comfortable second class <laughs> train with aircon uh, it was roughly six hours and i arrived in 
the Huahin train station, which is uh, pretty new, I have to say, and you can directly walk in this area from the train station, it's not so far. Basically, the old train station was uh, of course close to the village so if you arrive by train and you don't have big bags and if you decide to stay in uh, the old town here you can simply walk from the station Room 18, that is the accommodation in these days here in Wahim. The room guys is beautiful and I had a great deal for this room on booking. You look at the toilet, really nice, beautiful shower. The room is very spacious. I have my space to work here. It's really beautiful. I will put the link of this hotel in the video description because uh, yes you have really to consider this place it's in the heart of Wahim in the center and it's a beautiful place and the stuff it's amazing the guys are really helpful I highly highly recommend this place a bit early so we should come back tonight and maybe we will be back but this is a walking walking street to eat hamburger today so let's try this Atin's hamburger here at the burger station in Wahid okay guys it looks great some hours of light in Guahin and the night market is already open so let's go for a walk This is all the night market that every night take place and <laughs> the interesting thing is like everywhere in Thailand for a night market they just pop up from nothing around 4 5 pm and before that time the street is just a normal street with cars <laughs> and motorbike running and then suddenly in half an hour these guys they put up the night market every freaking day so every day they just pop up 
all the stuff and then when they finish late night they took off everything and the day after they do it again and again and again this is basically the old town and we are not far from the train station which is there i don't know if you can see it I didn't take the camera yesterday night because I was just hanging out with uh, my friend Zhao. So, but we came to dinner here in this place. Yeah, in seafood oh, yeah, and was Amber King here. Yeah, we had incredible seafood. So remember how about him? He will make you a little bit of discount, maybe <laughs> if you come. And it's very easy to find it. It's in the middle of the main street. So if you want seafood, so this is the place mm -hmm. in, in Huahin, mm -hmm. Huahin seafood. place starting from 450 baht per day it seems nice here hello Sawadika. Sawadika. if you are pretentious they have a Hilton here in Wahin the lights are on so let's go to check the walking street pretty calm everywhere but it's good and you know it doesn't have to be always a madness like in Phuket or like in Pattaya it's nice and it, it is still early so it's just to show you that they have a interesting hangout district it's full of bars full of girls obviously and it's very quiet so it's good because if you are looking for some company you have many options when you are off season and everything is quiet Saladika, hello Saladika. so as you can see you have plenty of choices <laughs> so you have to consider that I always suck playing pool and with these ladies most of the time you don't have a chance, believe me.
Salud. I'm at Wahin bus station early in the morning catching my bus for Pattaya to come back to the base and Wahin was very nice I make new friends and the video it's not so long uh, I got lucky to meet some new friends here in Wahin so I also decided to spend a few time with them and don't get too crazy to make videos because yeah that's life sometimes you know just enjoy your new friend enjoy some new experience and about new experiences there are a lot more to come but it will be for the next video thanks for watching guys and as always i hope to see you in the next episode peace